Hi, in this session we're going to have a look at uh, Sobel sequences. Um, when you use a Monte Carlo simulation and you don't want to use the uh, regular random number generator, but you want to use a quasi number generator. And we're going to have a look at the Sobel sequence. And uh, we're not going to go through any code here, but I'm going to show you what how this looks like and how this can be used. So the what we want to do is price uh, an Asian option using a Monte Carlo simulation. So we need uh, to draw random numbers. And we can see here that the Sobel sequence spreads its uh, probability evenly over the probability distribution. And uh, if we take 256 draws, it looks like this. If we take a thousand uh, draws, it starts to fill up uh, the the space, the probability space, evenly, which obviously in random numbers don't. So uh, in this example, we have the Asian option with its um, parameters, and we have the number of simulations. So we have 800, 1,000, uh, 2,000, 6,000, and 100,000 simulations. And in the first row, we have uh, the pricing of this option using the Sobel sequence, and in the second one, we have just random numbers. So uh, as we click on this, obviously, it's only the random numbers that move about. Since we have a fixed number of Sobel uh, sequence, this will be uh, a, a static price. And we can see that uh, uh, it converges already around 2,000 uh, random numbers. And we can see the same thing here as a graph, uh, error graph. So uh, at zero is the correct price of this option, uh, and the green line is uh, uh, the Sobel uh, sequence uh, pricing uh, error, and then the red one is the um, uh, random number generator. So as we take different draws, uh, you can see the variability of the random number generator, and you can also see that we need quite a few samples to get a good convergence uh, of this price. Uh, so when pricing, obviously you need better convergence. But even <clears throat> more interesting is when you look at the tail, if you want to do risk. So he, here we have the same thing. We have the random draws. Uh, and we the green ones are the, uh, the Gaussian samples from the Sobel sequence, which obviously doesn't move. And the red ones are just uh, the random numbers. And as you can see, uh, in the tail, um, you want to have something smooth there when you run the risk. And if you run a uh, risk uh, with too few samples in the tail, you're going to have a completely spurious risk measure, which makes for uh, a very unreliable unre risk. So uh, here you can see the benefits and obviously also the speed ups of using a uh, quasi random number generator for risk and pricing. Uh, and the Sobel library and the random number generator is uh, part of the QLang language library. Thank you.